I start off with a black weight because a lot of times when I'm, like if you come up north or something and you got these pike and stuff, you're throwing a chrome weight and you're reeling it in, pike will snap it off. So I start off with a black weight. If the, if the black gets chipped away, I'll still flip it with the chrome because once it's underneath, it's, all it's doing is reflecting the dark. So it really doesn't matter. And if it does have a little bit of flash, it might help. But, um, so I, I just don't think it really matters. It's just all up here. Um, so I don't throw them away when they go chrome. I know a lot of guys go, oh man, the paint chipped off and tossed away. So I'm like, give them to me. <laughs> Those things are like eight, 10. I've paid like 12 bucks for them things. When you're fishing mats, how do you balance how far into the mat you go versus making so much noise to spook everything? <laughs> you know, my philosophy on that, it's kind of like the Alabama rig. When I throw an Alabama rig and it makes a huge splash, I always get a fish. I think sometimes you need that noise in the mat. Um, so, I mean, it, I want to do whatever it takes to get the bait through the mat. Um, I don't want to hit the top of the mat and it sits there and someone tries to eat it because probably never hook it. Most of the bites you get when you're flipping that mat is on that initial fall. You flip it in and it goes, and it, just hold on because that's when it's going to go and load up. And you don't really want to just give it a hard hook set. You want to just kind of keep that pressure. You got braid on. Um, like I said, I fish 80 pound braid. Uh, as low, the lowest I'll throw is 50. Sorry, Aaron. Can't go 30. I've broken fish off on 30. I just can't do it. But um, as far as sound, I, I, it just depends. I mean, if there's a lot of pressure, then I think it's, it's more important. I think the most important thing with sound is what does it sound like when it's going in? Um, that's why I like that soft braid on that, that rig I got. It's more of the trolling motor sound. Yeah, the troll motor, troll motor definitely. You, you want to keep your troll motor to a minimum. I mean, once you get out there and you start intruding in their environment, they're aware of it. Um, I heard Steve Kennedy tell me the other day, and I never thought about it, because you know, he likes to fish out of an aluminum boat and everything else, but the water displacement out of these boats, you know, I, and I fish one of the widest boats on the industry, and when you get in that super shallow water, you're almost creating a little bit of a current, and they can, the fish are really aware of what's going on. So, you know, I started thinking, man, I really need to slow down the shallower I get now, but, um, you can start getting spun out if you start thinking too much. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you're talking about noise. Um, what about the fish finding? Very good question. Uh, there's a lot of sound in electronics. Um, I use my fish finder to know the depth, and I like to do it during practice. I mean, I, I have it on. If I'm getting bit with it, I feel like I'm going to get twice as many bites with it off. So I do turn it off in shallow, flipping, frogging situations. Um, you can stop your sonar, but still leave your map because you still want to know where your trails are. And uh, if you've got any kind of definition, it's good to at least know where you, you, know, where you want to go with it if you're fishing in a big open mat. Um, but yeah, definitely, you know, try to eliminate as much sound as you can. Um, and then there's ways to mask it. You can use the hydrowave. If, if you want to leave it on, turn your hydrowave on. Don't turn it too loud, just enough. And what that does to me, I, I, everyone's got their different theories on. I know it's a sound of bait fish moving and this and that. But what I think it does is it's a natural way of spooking bait fish and it gets those fish triggered and fired up. Um, and I've seen it where you've turned it real loud in an open water lake without grass or anything like that and people on the other side of the bank start catching them. So, I mean, I think it just gets the whole environment going. Um, Murray, John Murray yesterday was here. He, he was the first one to tell me how good it works in the grass. So, I mean, it's definitely something to try. Um, but I, I still like that stealth. I like quiet. And the information Bash University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.